Yo Zers, what up? Welcome back to Judio Z and uh, I guess I'm done with my dailies. I just have co-op mission to finish and some of you may not know what, what I'm talking about. It's just that when I recorded another tutorial of beating the story mode without the uniforms, I was doing that as soon as possible because uh, we just got the update and I needed to do everything else and waste all of that energy and stuff that, uh, like that. And then I would fi finally go ahead and uh, record this second video where I actually complete story mission, but this time with the uniforms equipped. So let me just make sure that I have the settings at high and the quality or the special animations on. And yeah, now this time around it's gonna be way easier for me at least to record this because uh, I can go at it with uh, one freaking go and uh, don't need to actually cut any parts uh, around and another freaking uh, thing that I wanted to show you is that basically this is the only mission where Black Widow and Iron Man are not gonna have their uniforms equipped uh, doesn't really matter though because this uniform is really really good and uh, yeah uh, if you were watching my live stream last time I said that uh, I would love to do this uh, on the live stream but like we were live streaming for like five hours there and I still had to finish uh, my own stuff and it was pretty pretty annoying so yeah Black Widow is joining us, uh, joining us right now and I just wanted to make sure that these characters would get different skills even with the new uniforms so the new uniforms are gonna give you different skills from what the uh, old uniforms would get you so yeah it is very very weird these ones are really easy to uh, clear the story mission with so I just wanted to actually do one uh, properly and just uh, tr test out how fast I can do it because yeah I did one test and it took me like an hour and a half and uh, sure but that was with a tablet that even with the settings at low or very low and uh, special animations off would still really run slow so just loading times would just hinder the, the I guess the speed of uh, my clear. This one is just way easier, plus for any of you who are having problems even with the uniforms, maybe you're new players and you don't really know how this game works, this is definitely gonna help you out. Uh, but yeah, this first mission is pretty easy, now you can skip cutscenes, cut so this is gonna take way less time for me as well. And yeah, so for me right now the time is at like 12.30pm. So just making sure uh, that I don't need to do anything. But yeah, the reset is gonna happen soon for me. That's what I wanted to check out. Uh, it's gonna happen in like three hours and a half, but let's just say three hours so that I have to hurry. Uh, and yeah, look at this now. As we all speculated, because a lot of you were thinking maybe uh, the uh, ability to use all uniforms even though you've only unlocked one by clearing the first, uh, clearing the story missions the first time, uh, was just because I had test build. Nope, you can already use all three uniforms at least in the story missions, but you just have to store uh, to clear the story missions three times to unlock all uniforms for your roster. And yeah, that is fairly easy. And if you play from, like from the, if you've played actually, because this is not gonna be uploaded on the same day. If you played right from the first time that we got the update, you would be able to clear the story missions twice, since uh, you just do it once, and then you have the daily reset, because you have one daily reset each day, and that is pretty nice. Um, that means that, sure, the first time we get the, the update, of course, we can do it twice, but uh, the next time, so basically after the daily reset of everything happens, like in three hours, I can only uh, reset the story once. So basically it won't reset itself after the uh, daily reset. That way I can't really uh, I can't really actually do it twice. You can only do it one time after that. Because doing it that way would mean that uh, just by not being able to clear the story missions completely till the end of the reset would mean that you're uh, 
progress would just get reset completely so that's why they didn't want to do it that way they they do understand that you don't really need to finish the whole story missions uh in one day uh i will try to do that as much as possible because just because i want to maximize the chances of getting something pretty rare from the uh, chest in the end but yeah man you can you can decide to do it however you want you cannot play this game mode at all uh, like completely after clearing it three times for uh, the uniforms and I mean if you don't really like it at all you could even just skip it completely the the three new uniforms are just basically for beginners so you don't really need to have them as an intermediate player or as a veteran or something or if you're like me and you're a collectionist, of course you want to have them, so yeah, that's what I mean. You don't really need to play this game mode if you don't like it, but it's way better. Uh, the size of the game went, uh, I guess, uh, got re reduced from what I saw. And as you can see, clearing the missions is just way freaking faster this way. Uh, I guess if you haven't watched the clear without the uniforms, uh, you're just gonna see how agonizing it is to kill the enemies uh, with all the uniforms but yeah it is still pretty easy not as hard as a lot of people made it out to be or a lot of star agents made it out to be in the beginning and which actually definitely freaking scared me but yeah it's not really that hard you can definitely do it very fast uh, and if you own a phone which basically means it, the phone is gonna be pretty fast when playing this game and not just an old tablet like I did for when I was using the test build then you can definitely do it very very fast maybe in just one hour that's what I'm trying to see uh, if it can happen in that uh, in that amount of time because last time with the tablet it took me an hour and a half so since I also am recording this will mean that I will not even stop uh, to go eat or do something like that because yeah I, I did do that um, the other time so that also uh, affected the the clear time. I will drink though, because <laughs> if I don't, my voice will just get destroyed. Uh, let's see. Now we can change the first skill. I think the first one is actually better the way it is. Though here it says that it adds poison, and here it says that it it increases the number of strikes. So. I, that's the one that I've been using anyway but I'm not sure if it really increases the number of strikes or it just says that uh, because it changes the, uh, the the elemental type because it's with Black Widow with the uniform you either get shock or poison or fire um, this one is nice as well but you should always go with this first one because it will give you freeze and that is really really nice uh, it will <laughs> it will really help with your survivability. Let's see the first skill. It's pretty nice. Let's see the third skill. Oh yeah. Let's see the first one. Uh, usually, I mean, I don't mind having fire damage, but the problem is that they just go uh, in one way on or in one direction, so it doesn't really uh, target the enemies. I think the one with shock is a better, a better skill and that's the one I've been using every time so yeah use the third one there and let's go on with the story. By the time that you've changed all the uh, all five of the skills the game is just so much fun after that. But uh, even even right now it, it is definitely very easy to clear these and you can actually just play with any character, They're, all three of them are really really good. Now we have to get through this. These are basically the only one uh, stages that are gonna be annoying after this part, like after just clearing it for the first time without uniforms. It just gets very easy. So let's just wait it out here. It's always better to be safe than sorry, as everyone freaking says. Let's just wait here again. If you wait in the car, a corner, it doesn't really uh, push you, so you're good. You can wait here as well. And let's just start running, and it's done. Let's go to the next stage. And yeah, 
usually you would want to switch to Iron Man even though this is pretty early on and they are not that hard to kill but he was a combat type so yeah um, I will do a small uh, explanation of the combat types by the way because uh, the game doesn't have a tutorial when you do the battle uh, to show you what uh, types are stronger than the others I mean it used to uh, I'm sure it did like uh, the story missions before used to have that but now it doesn't have it anymore so I kind of want to do it myself so as if you see Black Widow has a green icon and uh, that is called a speed type so basically I, I have basically explained this as well on the other video that I did without the uniforms but if no one has seen that or if someone hasn't seen that yet let's wait here uh, you can just learn it from here so uh, the speed type characters are really effective on, against blast type characters which are characters with the blue icon there um, but they are actually not effective against combat characters which are the ones with uh, the red icon there's also another typing that you can see in the middle here yeah I can just show you like this so basically you have the universal type universal types have advantages against blast against speed against combat they have an advantage advantage against all of them but don't they don't but they don't really have a disadvantage uh, from anyone even from universal types so the universal types you just deal normal damage and there are three things you can you need to keep in mind if you see yellow damage that means you're doing uh, more damage than normal if you see white damage that's the normal damage if you see gray damage you're disadvantaged and you're seeing uh, your damage drop a bit so that's what happens if you uh, for example attack a blast type with a combat type because he is disadvantaged anyway so it's explained really easy since we started with speed speed is actually effective against uh, blast but it's ineffective against combat if you're attacking a combat, uh, a combat type character now blast is not effective against speed but blast is effective against combat and combat is effective against speed but not effective against blast you're gonna see that as we play on uh, and another thing that we need to address is that when you see these purple uh, warnings of anyone attacking, that means that is the, uh, the the hardest things to survive from, so it's better to just run. That's why I'm doing it. It's not like I'm not confident in this uniform, but whatever you try to do, even if you try to do an iframe, iframes are the skills that uh, have an, an, a red X, and when the red X is active, they cannot actually hit you back, they can't target you, unless it's one of their abilities, but that doesn't really happen in uh, story modes, only in timeline, for example, uh, when other characters have that ability. Let me show you the, the iframe now, there you go, you see the red X, when that is active, they can't target you. Um, but yeah, the purple attacks don't really care about that. This one you see here is a guard, the one that has some bars on top, that means uh, as many bars it has, that many hits you can take without uh, getting actually damaged, unless they pierce you, but whatever. That's the whole idea behind it. There's also immunity that doesn't really have bars on top of the, uh, the shield, but yeah, that is pretty cool, immunity is even better, but when you get, when you see those purple uh, raid or warnings, just run, nothing can help you from those, okay? not even immunity, not, not even iframes, like the purple attacks weren't really available uh, till I guess a while back so nobody like having iframes was the best thing ever so if you were iframing, iframing not even world boss ultimate or world bosses would be able to hit you as you see just because I forgot an attack uh, and I couldn't cancel out of it to move away, this is how you die. There is no way to survive that uh, unless you just go away from <laughs> from their freaking uh, range of attack. So not even World Boss Ultimate could uh, attack you while you were uh, iframing, but then they got, they got some stages in where they use purple attacks, which just basically ignore anything you do. Here you just need to stay in the middle, it's way better without the uh, with the uniform because he stay, stays on the ground. Without the uniform, he floats, and it's a bit harder to 
uh, know where you're standing but yeah and uh, so the purple attacks are just the ones that you want to uh, go away from here just be careful not to touch the wall or else you'll get electrified or shocked or stunned or whatever and he'll just a attack you even more you're also gonna get a lot of damage from the uh, uh, electricity or whatever you want to call it and that's how you will fail uh, as I said they fixed this portion because sometimes you have to go through a portal but accidentally get hit by the electricity and kill you even though you managed to complete it they just uh, I guess switch to the next phase uh, automatically here just run to this point and be ready to run again and you're safe that's pretty much it but yeah so after that you also have attacks with re with red zones though those basically mean that you're pretty much safe if you use an iframe or immunity though from what I'm seeing after the update they kind of changed the story mode that the red uh, actual the red zones will sometimes even pierce you when you're in immunity when you're in iframes you're safe so with the red X you're totally safe but you have to be careful where in you, when you're in an immunity from what I saw in uh, the first test without the uniforms that was pretty hard and sometimes they would be able to kill you even uh, if you were in immunity so it's better to just iframe or just run anyway it's not really that hard you you will just I guess waste a few more seconds that's it but yeah this is pretty easy and uh, like differently from the other clear without the uniform you don't really need to switch to uh, I guess another character if you don't really want to because Captain America is just amazing as hell and with this huge damage he just doesn't really give a crap <laughs> so you just you just go ahead and punch everybody that you see and you're gonna have a nice time and it's also perfect now that uh, the enemy is a speed type and the combat types have an advantage if you want you can switch of course when you're clearing these bosses uh, that will just speed uh, things up but Cap does have uh, damage accumulation on the second skill I'm not sure if he has it uh, from the beginning or if you need to actually change it or you get it when you change it but still Cap does have a lot of damage plus the best thing about him is that his skills uh, are pretty nice and they have really low cooldown for the most part well if you try to use any of the other uh, characters you're gonna have a really bad time let's just try to get through there and let's wait here and that's the last spot and we're done that's pretty much it really really easy just follow my lead and you'll be done in no time I guess uh, right here I think is the spot where they have physical defense or something and you just need to switch to Iron Man because he deals energy damage and then there there are gonna be uh, yeah so let's just switch to Iron Man use the third skill and watch them just get destroyed and use the second skill as well Iron Man is very freaking safe uh, contrary to what he was able to do on the first uh, try without the uniform so just don't worry about it Black Widow is pretty safe as well but she's the least safe I, I would guess she does have long iframes but just Iron Man is way safer now and has long iframes uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it is pretty freaking cool. Now they're, they're, they will have energy defense, so just go with Cap or uh, Black Widow and you're still gonna do a lot of damage. So yeah. If you don't really want to switch, you could actually decide not to, but that will take more time to clear the, uh, the, the mission, I guess. Cause yeah, you see these red, red attacks still uh, damage you even though you're in immunity so just run away or just use uh, an eye framing skill and you're gonna be golden I guess but yeah pretty freaking easy you could decide as I said you could decide to just go and uh, let's switch to Iron Man here uh, sadly I really <laughs> really didn't uh, think of the timing that well but whatever this isn't really that hard, it's just gonna take a, a little while. By the way, the, the basic attack can also be held out, so you just hold the basic attack and it will keep attacking the whole time. Unless this guy is invisible, that 
that's when you can't really uh, target him. It's basically him having an iframe. I don't know why the game is lagging right now, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it, it is basically from the internet because uh, my phone is pretty freaking beastly. It, it doesn't really lag at all, especially in the story mode because story mode is uh, easy. Uh, or it's not as graphically intensive. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually mirroring uh, my phone screen to my PC. Uh, via or via Wi-Fi so that's probably the reason why uh, as you're gonna s learn uh, Modoc is just the hardest boss in this uh, uh, in this game mode <laughs> so you have to be careful when going against him and these purple attacks are just the most annoying out of all of them just be careful to run damn I did it the wrong way and I almost died at least I almost died. Other times it was way worse. And yeah, they did fix or fix. They did nerf the story mode, so it's way easier now. Even with the uniforms, it is really, really freaking easy. I was just actually happy that uh, I was happy that the last mission was nerfed because that was really, really hard. Uh, you saw that purple uh, attack phase, and that is when he charges up a bigger ball and he releases that to follow you. Uh, the way to actually fix that is just stand close to him and get hit by that, and that will actually hit Modak as well, and it will stun him. If you don't, he'll keep that purple shield, and that will just uh, make it so that you only do like 5 damage to him, which will take you 3 hours to clear. Um, so next time he does it, just stun, get stunned close to him so he also gets stunned and you can deal a lot of damage again. So let's see the second skill. This was the one that we had and I think the one that I used was, uh, or the one that I usually like to use was the uh, third one, but let's see what happens on the first one as well. I mean this one increases the number of, ta of attacks and increases the critical rate by 30% so that is actually pretty good but this one also gets invisibility and attacks but I really don't care let's just go for full damage so I'll go with the first skill again um, there we go because they did change this one now that I think about it this one would just make her move and not attack so it was very wor uh, like really not worth it but I think still it's better to go with critical rate increase uh, and uh, freaking more hits so that is way better let's go to the second skill and see what we can change here this one is pretty okay but it's not really that strong or uh, it's just a basic attack I mean uh, this is pretty cool but that is there is just one freaking hit so I would rather use this one, it has bigger uh, waves and those waves just go on indefinitely and they can hit other uh, enemies that are uh, around, but it's still a long iframe so that's why I would select that. Let's see the first skill. So yeah, he always has damage accumulation with the uniform. Uh, I can tell you what to choose already, but let's just show all the skills that you have available. They are both really cool, but you need to get this one if you want to play this on easy mode because he creates a shield for himself and then another one for every ally that is around. So that is definitely going to come in handy on the last mission and other missions as well. Uh, yeah, I forgot to uh, continue on what I was saying. So if you remember those energy defense and then physical defense robots, you can decide to just not switch that is just gonna take a little bit of time till the uh, shield wears off because it does wear off uh, it's like five seconds maybe so it's not that bad but if you just wanna complete it as fast as you can just switch it's not that hard <laughs> so yeah these are not really that uh, hard you can't really get killed uh, from the fire there maybe that blade is a bit annoying but that probably doesn't kill you either but yeah this is actually a bit annoying. What I would suggest is to just, uh, I guess, try to get them close to you or try to get them to come to you, but whatever, it didn't really work out. I guess he's gonna die. Let's uh, do this with Iron Man. This is a full iframe skill, so that's actually easy. Let's go ahead and just pass through here. I mean, for this boss, you would need to use Iron Man anyway, because he's a combat one. I mean, not really need to, but it's actually better. And just so you know, 
the third skill, uh, skill that Iron Man has here actually deals a lot of damage, so I would definitely uh, keep using that as, uh, as soon as it actually gets off cooldown, so there you go. And boom, pretty freaking nice damage, almost done. You could sometimes just switch if you finished all of your skills and you don't want to go on uh, the auto attack, that's the worst skill. Um, you could just switch to Black Widow, I know she has a disadvantage, but it's better than just waiting for the other skills to become available again. And by the way, if you're a new player, the big button, I know he, it looks big and maybe looks like it's the best, it's not. That is just the, I guess, if you're a Goku and you just want to be like, punch, 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 instead of using Kamehameha or whatever. So yeah, whatever, I'm just explaining it in a weird way, but basically the basic attack is just the basic of basic attacks. And then we have Blade in here, let's just go with Iron Man just so we can do it a little bit faster. In one way I am kind of sad that they uh, nerfed uh, Thor on the last mission. I mean it does make sense because it would take like really long to just finish that one mission. But it still was very, very, very fun, you know? And it was really actually more realistic, in, in quotation marks, because the reason why you can't do a lot of damage is because if you uh, actually clear this the first time, you'll know that uh, after clearing that, you get to tier 2, which means that by that point, you are still tier 1, and that guy is probably tier 2, which is the reason why you are actually dealing less damage, because Let's be honest, and I'm gonna tell you outright, if you use a tier 1 character against a tier 2 character, you're just not gonna have a nice time. Uh, it's gonna take really, really freaking long. That's just so you know if you're a new player. Let's go ahead and, ch and I guess, change into Black Widow. What you would do is use the first skill, use the third, and then the second, but I messed up completely, so not a, pro not a problem, I guess. But still, that's how you would just want to play her if you wanted a lot of burst damage. It's basically the same, it's not like it's gonna change a lot, but it's just for a visual effect, just so that it does look cool. Just combine all the skills in one. Um, don't worry, sometimes I just uh, do videos that are so hard that I need to look at my phone the whole time. So basically story mode is not easy at all. Uh, you, I mean, it is easy, <laughs> but it's not easy to just go ahead and just not look uh, at the screen when you're playing. And yeah, she did still die anyway. I tried my best, but I think here is important to, it is important to have Cap uh, for, uh, alive, not really Black Widow, because uh, the enemy is Spider-Man and he's a combat type and blah blah blah, and you know <laughs> what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, usually I do uh, look at uh, the camera, so don't worry, but this video is just uh, off a of really hard game mode to beat, so I'll have to do it like that, and I'm beating this on the phone, not really on PC. I usually actually use PC only for test builds, sadly they don't really give us uh, the, uh, a test build that works at the same time as the normal build. Uh, on a separate or that would work as a separate app so that is very annoying and that is why I can't really install it on my phone because that way I wouldn't be able to pro progress on the daily uh, stuff that I have to do on my own account and that's why I am forced to use uh, I guess <laughs> emulators on my PC to do that and that's why the quality or just the frame rate drops when uh, I'm using test builds but yeah, now we have the fourth skill unlocked and this is just gonna be way better again. Just the thing is that with the uniforms, even the basic skills are really really nice. So I don't know man, it is really really cool. It can be actually argued that the fourth skill and the fifth skill are actually better left untouched uh, when, you, when you clear it with the uniform. Um, I could you could still change the uh, the fourth skill to the one with fire, and that's what I was, uh, what I am gonna do. But the fifth skill, in my opinion, is way better just the way it is, because it has a lot of hits at the end. But there you go, pretty freaking cool. Boom, 
and uh, we're done. It's it's really fast and easy. Doesn't really take a long time. And let's go ahead and just actually here I'm gonna teach you that, or if you didn't see my first clear, I'm gonna teach you that you can just run past all of them. You don't really need to be careful and stop on everyone, uh, like after passing every one of them. But yeah, with the uniform, the damage accumulation is just so much better and so much more notice uh, noticeable. If you went with Iron Man here, yeah, sure, you would have a lot of damage, but you would have to wait for the cooldown if uh, all of the skills that you had available weren't enough to kill him. Even though now you have the force skill for Iron Man as well, so I don't know, he does have a lot of damage now, and it, the force skill is a long iframe. Now we get to change the third skill. Now, I think. Uh, for a while I changed this skill to the third one or actually I changed it to the first one because uh, it was a bigger baton and I thought okay bigger baton bigger range but if you see it's not really attacking the other two so it's better to just use the third one uh, it will have sm two small ones but they will push and they will reach the other two enemies so this one is way way freaking better there you go now let's change Iron Man's third skill uh, right here this one will increase the number of strikes and that is really really good while this one will allow you to attack and also move but you don't really need to be that safe in this uh, game mode with this uniform so just pick the one with more attacks uh, it's gonna be more worthwhile in the end this one is the third skill that's really nice uh, this one has fire damage and like it's activated at the end so there is some burn at the end uh, there is this one as well who has that has shock damage which follows the enemies but I guess you're gonna be up in their face the whole time so I, I did change to uh, using this one instead after playing it after a while I thought maybe this one was better and I did notice that I was having way more fun with the fire damaging skills anyway uh, the way they look and the the nice really way the they actually work because you don't really need to follow the enemies they're mostly gonna be uh, in your freaking face about everything and yeah I noticed that the voice crack as well <laughs> so with the uniform the co-op skill for Captain Marvel is the fourth skill uh, when you change the fourth skill uh, or when you change it in the test build the, the co-op skill wouldn't change at all it would still be the basic fourth skill uh, I am gonna change it to the fire skill one uh, just to see just to see if the co-op skill is still gonna be the same or if it's gonna change uh, along with the fourth skill that we're changing so let's see it's way easier as I said really really cool and when you get the fifth skill it's gonna be just insane <laughs> very very freaking easy so from this like basically when having uniforms you can uh, opt to just use any character but I still love Captain America when way more because he doesn't have a lot of uh, cooldown and he has pretty nice freaking damage. Uh, but yeah, you can go with Black Widow. It's not really that hard. If you can do it without the uniform uh, for all of them, you can basically do it with any of them with the uniform. Black Widow doesn't have a lot of iframes in the beginning, but it's not like you really need them there. Uh, but yeah, after a while she gets really long iframes on the 5th and the 4th, so it's really really good. Let's go ahead and clear these guys out. I didn't really let the 4th play out till the end. Whatever, whatever. There you go. And let's wait for the skill to go off cooldown and yay! Back at it again. With those white bands. There you go. Old meme, I know, I know, I know. Actually, that was a really annoying meme, to be honest, I wouldn't even call it a meme, it's, it was just it's really, really bad. But it, yeah, as you can see, this is way faster of a clear than uh, the one with the uniforms, but I guess we will know when we uh, actually get it done. And basically, we will know after, after I even freaking uh, managed to edit the first one out because the first one took two hours but that was also with the cutscenes so maybe without the cutscenes it's gonna be just an hour and a half same with the uh, clear that I did with the uniforms on my tablet which was slow so maybe this will take just one hour uh, with the uniforms but I'll just have to see I really don't know 
for now we've, we've done uh, I guess till let me just check uh, how far we've gone I think yeah we've done half of the missions and it's taken 35 uh, minutes so it's pretty cool almost like a little bit more than an hour I would guess but let's see how fast we do it because there are missions you can just totally skip uh, and I may just end up dying or failing on some uh, missions uh, for no reason but yeah now we have the fifth skill unlocked this is just really really nice now <laughs> this is gonna be really cool uh, and soon I think we're just gonna be able to uh, change the fourth skill as well so we can confirm our theory yay there you go way more fun with cap now I mean I should use the second skill whenever I get the chance to because that will give the give him uh, damage accumulation which will make the clear faster but sometimes I just forget because the the fourth and the fifth are pretty uh, long skills so you'd never really think of uh, using the second but just use it for damage accumulation don't worry about uh, immunity anymore there you go and that fire damage will still help that is really nice let's use the fourth here and the fifth will that clear it not really I don't think so yep boom it would be freaking nice and I, I I know they wouldn't do this if they allowed us to use our own uniforms for this like I get it with uh, with the abilities starting out slowly you just have one and two skill and basic attack I wouldn't I really wouldn't mind that but since the story mission are uh, story missions are gonna be so repetitive you're gonna have to do them every day if you want or you can do them every day if you want it's gonna become really boring to just do it do it with these new uniforms and uh, maybe it would even just make it a lot easier to clear with the endgame uniform let's say because they're way better than these ones and I don't know it would just be very very cool to have that ability there you go use the fifth cancel into the fourth and boom lots of damage really easy you have to be careful because this guy is just so freaking annoying and he did manage to kill my Iron Man but whatever we have cap and he has a lot of damage and we really don't care wow they added pierce on this guy which is making this very very hard even with the uniforms whatever we have the fifth and the fourth unlocked on Black Widow so we, we won't waste time by failing and trying again so yeah man that is pretty cool so I'm noticing that they've added pierce to a couple uh, I guess small mobs and uh, small bosses like Kingpin he didn't really have Pierce uh, before so it is pretty annoying it does really guard break you as well so I don't know very very hard to actually evade as well because he's a really big guy there you go we're already on the ship I'm pretty sure we're on a ship here that's why I say that but I'm maybe mistaken I don't know there you go Cap show them Who's boss? <laughs> Let's this time try to keep the agents alive because uh, when I did it without the uniforms, of course, I couldn't kill the enemies in time before they killed the agents that are helping me. There you go, we did it. They're not dead, I'm alive as well. There you go, more freaking agents. Hopefully, this guy won't die from the explosion. He didn't, it's nice. Is he still there? Uh oh, I think he died. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro. Thanks for the help. There you go. Easy peasy. You don't really need to actually fight these guys. As long as you just uh, detonate all of those uh, generators, you can just skip through all the fighting. But whatever, since we're there. And you can do the same here as well. Just be careful not to be seen. It's not like it's hard to kill them, but the problem is that when they actually get alerted, they will actually summon a lot of enemies and it's just gonna make the clear time way freaking longer than it needs to be and now we have this annoying part of the mission I mean it looks very cool and cinematic though so this is really nice uh oh careful this actually well he died uh, this actually reminds me of uh, 
I don't know if you've seen X-Men Origins Wolverine. I don't know what's going on. Why the hell am I so slow? I did it without the uniform so freaking easily. Whatever, let's try this again. Uh, this actually reminded me of a mission in Wolverine or X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, that was the PC game or maybe not really just a PC game but it was really freaking cool. Why the hell is that happening? And why the hell did freaking Black Widow strike there? What's going on there? I really don't get it. Why do I get so slow sometimes? What the hell, man? Is this a bug or something? What the hell is going on? Without the uniforms, this is really freaking easy. What? <laughs> Yo, are they serious? Like, do I have to unequip these to actually manage to do this? Because you can totally do that. But like, this wasn't in an issue before. I just freaking cleared it. And it was easy. What the hell, man? Why do I get freaking... I mean, I, I know I'm standing on the fire, but like, they get so slow for no reason. Look at this, and they're already in the fire. Never mind. Black Widow, come on! Yeah, do you see that? They're freaking slow. They're not as slow before. They weren't as slow before. Whatever. Uh, whenever you think you're almost done, and you're not really. What the hell, man? I don't know. Do they break it here or something? And there's no way to freaking avoid this. Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. No, why is this so freaking further ahead now? It wasn't there. Come on. Come on. Run, dude. Uh, so annoying. And so freaking close. I really don't understand why. And this is just gonna add to the freaking clear time. What the fuck? I guess I'm guessing it's just a bug. You you'll see. I can show you with the freaking uniforms uh, unequipped. It's really really easy and fast. Look at that. The fire is actually targeting me. Before it wouldn't do that. Let me try to get away. No, nope, can't really do that. I got stuck there. Whatever, this will catch me as well. What the hell is going on with this? It wasn't like this without the uniforms. What the fuck? I'll just unequip them. We've already wasted too much time. Whatever. Unequip. Found our first bug, apparently. Let's go. And uh, try this again. Like seriously, what the hell? <laughs> Just keep spamming the forum for this shit, because it shouldn't work like this. Let's go. What the fuck is going on? Why is this like really annoyingly hard for no reason? No. Whatever. Let's go into Iron Man, because he is actually very freaking fast. How in the fuck did they mess this up? And how in the fuck did I mess this up? Like, it wouldn't be that hard before. Whatever. Let's equip our uniforms again. And I think we can change our skills as well. Yeah, yeah. So, now with the uniform equipped, let's see the fourth skill. This is the normal one you have. And, I mean, this one does have a lot of hits as well. But... This one summons uh, storms, whatever, but you don't really have those uh, shields running around, so that sucks. Uh, and this one actually has a lot of fire and has a fireball at the end, so this one is way better. Let's go with Black Widow, give her the uniform, and select the, uh, the skill that you want to use. Well, that was lag even for me, not, not just from the screen mirroring software. There you go. Pretty nice iframe. This one is pretty much the same, but with poison. So who cares? Let's see this one. Pretty much the same, but with fire. So I guess it has some burn damage, but I don't know. Let's just go with fire since we've been using fire in it anyway. It's like it doesn't really make such a huge difference. Let's uh check Iron Man as well. Oh, 
without the uniform, duh, with the uniform, duh, I meant to say. So this is the normal scale and it's really freaking long, so whatever. This one increases the attack count, so I think this one is the one we're going with. And this is the one I've been going with the whole time. But this one just launches chill attack, which doesn't really freeze the enemy, it's just, I don't know, it's just cold damage. So just go with the third one here and you're set. Let me see if I chose caps one. Yep, we're we're just freaking ready. That took no joke two minutes or three minutes of uh, the clear time to just go through that freaking annoying mission, which I actually like it because now it it reminds me of that mission from the X Men Origins uh, game way freaking more because that was as freaking hard as this was. Uh, for no reason, I just get stuck here. Thank you very much. Uh, here you don't really have to worry about Modok. This is the only, uh, I guess, boss or Modok boss that uh, doesn't really do the purple attacks. You just have to damage him up to a point and then he'll just run away. So yeah, no purple attacks here. Don't really worry about uh, saving or, or like keeping uh, Black Widow alive or keeping all three of them alive to have higher chances. On other ones, you'll need to, okay? He's pretty freaking hard to kill, but with the uniforms it's gonna be way easier. I really have no idea why it was so annoying on uh, that try. Whoa, I'm gonna die there. I didn't. That's cool. For no reason I just survived that. Let's just get these guys to explode by their by themselves. There you go, pretty easy. They, they will just kill themselves. And now we have more enemies, yay. And now I may die. Nope, thank god he just went away. Because I was gonna be dead real soon. Let's run, nope, actually I survived that for some reason. And boom, we're safe, There, there you go. Oh my god, can you just explode please? Thank you. Go through the portal and go to the next part of the mission. I mean, I have no reason to have, to actually use uh, Iron Man there, so we can just go ahead and use Cap instead. I was just using him because on the last mission I actually passed it through thanks to him not having the uniform. Uh, and that is kind of a, a cheat on how to actually do it faster if you want to clear it with the uniforms. Just unequip the uniform for Iron Man because he's actually really fast when he moves. So maybe that's the only way to go through it. I don't know for sure. I, I know that I've actually been able to do it uh, with the uniform as well on the test build, but for some reason it just doesn't want to work anymore. Maybe they patched it or they changed it after uh, they updated uh, the game. They changed it and made it different from the test build, I really don't know. This is the first the first time I'm actually clearing this with the uniform, so makes sense that I don't really know how it works with these ones, but whatever. Excuses aside, let's go on with the mission. Modok now will just be annoying as hell. As always, whatever. Let's use the fifth and the fourth, because those are really, really long iframes. For some reason, he was able to freaking ignore the freaking iframe, holy hell. But yeah, we are dealing a lot of damage. Let's just get him to get stunned. There you go. And now, no matter who we choose, we're probably gonna, ha gonna have enough damage, but let's just keep using Black Widow here. There you go. Easy as hell. Way easier than from the test build. I, I just am curious to see the damage. Uh, with the uniforms on the last mission Not against the army, but more of against Thor and Loki Because Thor had really huge amount of uh, health on the test build and they really reduced it on this one um, They took off like 500k uh, health From a million and 600k, it's like a million and 100k now way freaking easier and it, the damage was actually pretty high without the uniforms so with the uniforms I'm really really excited to see what they're gonna be able to do there you go and let's go to the portal or whatever let's go to the next phase of the mission for now we're at 50 minutes god damn mission just took me three hours to complete 
and I still had to switch out from using those uh, the, from using the uniforms so that is actually annoying so this is not really a true uh, actual uniform uh, clear but whatever had to do it probably or maybe it's the only way and maybe if it's a bug it will get fixed in the future but at this time though nothing I can do about it there you go and let's kill this guy and go through the freaking portal and go to the next part of the mission let's see what we have here it's Ultron it's gonna be easy as hell I could have started with the second skill but that just doesn't like that is just not that uh, necessary the damage is so freaking high you really don't need to be safe there you go one fourth skill and probably another last fifth but we didn't really get to uh, didn't even get to that point there you go easy as hell let's go to the next mission let's see how many missions are left man I went home not uh, to the next mission whatever blah 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 skip that go to the story and we've done 70% of it and now we're changing the last skill finally um, for Black Widow it's gonna be a bit uh, complicated this is the skill that she already has and it's really really good there you go let me show you the first one I know there is uh, fire damage here but it's or uh, yeah it, it it says that the enemy is getting attacked with holographic decoys and uses landmines and creates an explosion and stuff like that but the skill is very freaking short it's not really good if you want to be safe with these long iframes so for now the one we had is way better opens fire with holographic decoys and uses landmines to create poisonous explosions as you saw really really way shorter skill and probably not even an iframe that's really annoying so just keep the one that you had that's how I did it anyway the fifth skill the normal one is pretty good the one here is uh, I guess probably good with damage but you have to hold out to get better damage uh, keep the skill uh, held uh, and pressed but I think and I think you will like this as well uh, the first one is way better decreases the time to create an explosion so it's gonna be even faster and then increases all attacks by 25% all speed by 1 critical rate by 25 incapacitation for 6 seconds 100% for immunity to, uh, immunity to all damage for 3 seconds they did change this a little bit because before it was that it was so that it would increase the uh, damage increase that he would get and it will also increase the time that he was in, in, in immunity for but whatever way better it's more balanced I guess so don't worry about it this one in my opinion is the skill to choose it's pretty long the last freaking hit has a lot of hits there for the enemy throws a holographic shield and st stuns the enemy with powerful electric fields at the same uh, at the last strike I mean this is good as well kind of because it keeps them stunned for a while but I don't know I just like the fifth skill This one is cool as well, but you never get to that part where they just push the enemy. It's more like you always get cancelled at that point. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and use this this one with the electricity. Uh, I don't know, the hits are way freaking uh, lower, you know? Lower amount of hits. I really don't know if, if it's gonna be better damage or not. I really really don't know let's just skip this one I've played with the normal fifth so much that I'm actually a bit bored of it so let's just go with this one instead yep we had to use beer today didn't really have any energy to drink left uh, and that was because I worked out yesterday and I hadn't worked out in uh, Oh my god, I got freaking... Uh, I pretty much alerted them. Let's just go through. You don't really need to kill them, even if you alert them. So you can just go through anyway. Right here, keep using Cap. He has the most uh, advantage of uh, like all three of the characters that you can use. So we'll just keep him. And let's see the fifth skill in action. Now that we changed it. I don't know if that damage is really good though. 
Mm. I think... I think it's actually way better to just get uh, damage now. You don't really need crowd control anymore because Thor isn't that hard to kill. So just let's just change this back to the uh, first skill that he had. That is way better in my, my opinion. We already cleared that, let's go to the next one. But we can only do that only when we finish with this mission, so we're not done yet. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it was like two weeks or more that I hadn't uh, really worked out at all so it was really really hard to go back to the same freaking abilities or to go back to using the same exercises so or doing the same exercises so yeah but I still did it but I really needed that freaking energy drink and I had to push the uh, waiting time or rest time to two minutes. I usually do it in, in two minutes uh, or rest for two minutes anyway but um, the app only had uh, or the tracking app that I use only had uh, a one minute rest and then I saw that you could change it so I was glad about that um, it's more like just logging uh, a logging app it's not really a tracking app but whatever I really like it it does help out a bit because I would always be like wait is this the second time that I'm doing this exercise or the third time so that actually fixes that problem finally did this and we nope we're not done with this mission yet whatever I thought we could change the fifth skill finally I really don't like this fifth skill why did I choose it why did I do that to myself but yeah after clearing it about a few times you're gonna have fun using different skills I guess you would start uh, choosing the the worst skills that you can choose or try to do it with the normal skills uh, that you are given without changing the attributes at all or skills at all I don't know why, why they're calling them uh, attributes now but whatever they're skills whatever yeah. come on let me do it and uh, let's see what we have now kingpin this is gonna be really hard let's use uh, our boy here oh hell man that was a lot of damage and this long iframe is gonna take care of the rest there you go he didn't really have time to actually get help from the ninjas that is actually funny as hell I haven't cleared it uh, this far uh, this fast uh, ever till now but I'm guessing maybe the stats have changed a little bit for their defenses and their health so this is way better there we go let's go to the next one in headquarters but I have to use her here it's better to just go ahead and kill them all doesn't really change too much because they don't really summon any other uh, I guess enemies but they just have a lot of uh, attack and you have to be careful and your damage is pretty low here so just be careful I'm almost gonna die holy hell yeah for some reason that's not a iframe whatever let's try this again and this time let's try to sneak up because uh, they weren't this freaking strong before whatever we can do this uh, I hope this guy doesn't want to fuck nope he saw me apparently there's no way to get away from that <laughs> they're just gonna see you unless you you fucking look at their movements and everything and you know what they're gonna do next or I guess maybe it's better to just run around at this point only use the fifth and the fourth it's not really safe to use any other skill oh my god and still not freaking safe at least we're done thank god now just uh, search these boxes don't really search this one at all because it's gonna be empty and you're not gonna be able to go through just search the first one this one and the last one here I still forgot where the last box or the boxes of the next stage were the ones that had something inside but I'm pretty sure it's the first one and the the one before the last one so we're not gonna search those as well uh, either so yay finally play as cap fuck widow man I guess Widow sucks the most out of all three of them with uh, the changed, uh, I guess, with with the unicorns. 
Because without the uniforms, she is actually really, really good. The one that sucks the most there is uh, Iron Man from long freaking uh, cooldown. Really bad idea that I forgot to actually change my fifth skill, or maybe I didn't get to. I don't remember if I actually got to the uh, skill choosing, I guess, uh, or the mission starting screen, because that's where you can change it, but whatever. Maybe I just forgot, I don't know. Uh oh, Modok. Ah, thank god. It's not where you actually fight him. It may be still in this mission, but holy hell, that's gonna suck. Here you can actually attack these barrels, or at least the enemies, because she has a lot of damage here for some reason. These uh, enemies don't have a lot of health. And probably I got. Uh, probably I alerted them, so that sucks, but whatever. We're still searching for that. For no reason, because I forgot that the first one doesn't have anything. Anyway, I forgot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tag this guy so that he doesn't. Wow, I still got freaking alert. Like, he still got freaking alerted for some reason there. Yeah, she's pretty annoying to use. Her sneaking up missions are really hard now. So, this one has something inside. I forgot that I just freaking said the first one doesn't have nothing, uh, doesn't have anything, and this one doesn't either. So, don't search that at all. No need to. Let's go ahead and wait it out a little bit and then go back and attack this guy. Whoa, almost went into his freaking range. Uh, did I alert him or what? Nope, I didn't. Thank god, thank god. Okay, this one will have isolate set inside and uh, this next one doesn't so we can just completely skip it. For some reason I went back and targeted something else, but whatever. Let's use the fourth here. Nice. Nice freaking damage on the fourth. And I almost freaking uh, alerted that guard. Maybe we can go ahead and just uh, go immediately to this next target here. And I don't think that guy goes till the chest anyway, so we can just immediately search from here and not need to actually attack him. I, I guess these are my new unfavorite freaking missions. Wow, he still got alerted, but whatever. <laughs> I got what I wanted. Okay, just uh, just Dr. Octo Octopus now. I should have changed to uh, Iron Man. Let me try to. And look at the damage now. Yep, this is why I should have changed. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Mission cleared. Let's change that fifth skill of Captain America because uh, it's gonna be annoying real quick. Or it's gonna get annoying real fast. This is what I meant to say, but whatever. Let's use the middle one. That is the best one, in my opinion at least. And let's go ahead. Four more missions and we'll be done. Thank god. This still took an hour, so I'm guessing the clear time is way worse without the uniforms, I, or I just it took two hours in uh, Black Widow's missions, and the one where you needed to run away. So it's better to use Black Widow here, I think, because she has uh, speed type and more damage, basically. Yeah, look at the damage. It's more noticeable with the uniforms. Uh, the damage difference I guess so you definitely have to go with that or you definitely go have to go with the character that has the damage advantage that's definitely gonna help you way more let's try uh, Iron Man here and let's see the fourth skill whatever we're not even targeting Ultron that's nice by the way you have a timer here so you have to uh, clear this pretty fast let's go back to Cap because he's way better at clearing freaking uh, lots of enemies at the same time for some reason, even though I mean, even though Iron Man looks like he would be better at that job, uh, yeah, they did change this boss as well. Apparently, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing that it's way harder. I didn't see this, uh, those purple attack robots before here, so they added that later. There you go, we did it finally. Let's just skip this, and that's the end of the mission. Thank God, pretty fast mission. I'm guessing maybe this will take like uh, an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes 
but we'll see. Three more missions. I mean, the, the last mission really didn't take a long time even without the unicorn, so I'm really glad about that, but I hope I don't mess up and fail, because uh, that is going to take uh, more time out. Let's go. This just has a lot of enemies, and without the uniforms, that took a little while to clear, but with the uniforms, this is really, really fast. Now we have these annoying robots. Uh, you could either just run around or keep attacking, but there is no way you're going to uh, deal any damage to them unless their shield is removed. And that just happens on its own. You just have to wait for it to happen, and you, you, you will actually be able to notice that. Uh, when is it gonna happen? No idea. Maybe we should attack now. Nope, it's not happening yet. Come on. Okay, finally, it's off. There you go, the damage is just insane. You just have to get them off the freaking shield. And I'm pretty sure you just don't have to do anything, but it, like, my brain thinks that by attacking it's gonna happen faster. I really don't, uh, don't really know for sure. But yeah, it looks like maybe it's happening faster when you attack them, so just keep attacking them, just to be sure. <laughs> But there you go. Let's wait for the skill to go off cooldown and use the fifth here. Nice freaking damage as well. And nice freaking clear time, I would guess. Thanks to that. Boom, bitch. <laughs> I could just change into another character uh, since my skills are on cooldown, but whatever. We're already done anyway. Let's go to the next one. Um, next phase is gonna be better to actually be cleared with uh, Iron Man because he's a blast type and the enemies are universal in combat so it's better to have the advantage against Black Panther because the other two can be done with anyone at least try to kill Black Panther first and then you can change the cap but whatever they killed Black uh, I mean Iron Man already but they were always uh, almost dead anyway so it didn't really matter too much um, this is gonna be a little bit annoying because we'll still have those kind of robots. Let's just keep attacking just to make sure that uh, it's n like just to make sure that the shield doesn't go off on its own anyway, but whatever. I am pretty sure that it should go off on on its own. But just because my brain thinks that way, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's use the co-op skill here. It's pretty easy, man, as you can see. With the uniforms on, it's really, really easy. The damage is way better. The, the freaking clear times are way faster, and you, you're just gonna have way more time. Just uh, way, way more, or a way better time just playing this uh, this way with the uniforms. So uh, this one is better to be cleared with uh, Iron Man. And for some reason, I canceled the third skill. Whatever. <laughs> This would have been way faster, but I don't know what I was thinking. Let's try that again with the skills are available back again. Uh, be careful from that. There you go. Yeah, kind of way more damage, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Here you can switch to Black Widow, I guess, for more damage against Iron Man, because Dr. Octopus already died, so we're good. Let's go to the next one. I think two more missions and we'll be done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just two more missions. Here, it's actually just important to sneak around and then the rest is really easy. And then the rest just keep attacking everybody and you'll be done in no time. But yeah, the first thing you need to do is attack this barrel right here. Just with the first skill. There you go, because you can cancel that easily. Then go back, uh, like back here. And this robot isn't gonna see you at all. You retrieve this antimatter, and then you try to trigger as many of these guys as you can without triggering uh, their attention. There you go. Whoa! I almost got seen by that one. Uh, let's see what we need to do here. I almost got triggered. Like I almost got noticed there. Maybe. Ah! Goddamn! He still saw me. Whatever, let's just kill that guy and kill this guy as well. Hopefully without him noticing me, because that way it's not gonna summon other uh, enemies. And yeah, that's how you do it. Whatever, you can kill that guy anyway. <laughs> Who cares? But with the uniforms, even uh, even if 
if, even if two of them actually notice you, the amount of damage is still enough to clear it. Uh, maybe with three or maybe with, uh, with everybody noticing you, it's going to be way harder, so I don't think you'll be able to make it in time, but just try to trigger as many of them or try to take as many of them uh, those enemies' attentions away as you can just to make sure it's as easy as possible. Yep, these guys have peers when they use the red skills, so that sucks. Use iframes there. And uh, this one is gonna be a boss clear, but with the uniforms, as I said, more damage, easier, freaking faster clear, holy shit. Did you see Agent 13's health? I mean, Ultron is getting destroyed too, but holy hell, Agent 13. She's a speed type, duh. <laughs> but there you go, easy peasy. Wow, that, that actually took like two seconds. An easy freaking clear, let's go to the next one. This one you can just skip and just go towards the end, even if they get alerted. Like, it looks like there's no way to not alert them. Uh, but even if they all get alerted, it's gonna be pretty hard for all of them to follow you. So you can just kill the rest like this. Uh, it would be better if you just waited till you get past, past this machine gun. But yeah, as you can see, not all of them follow you. So right here you can just uh, run around or attack or whatever you wanna do. I'll just keep attacking because that way I'll be kind of uh, safer. There you go. He lost his shield. He is done for. Let's see the other two uh, die as well. So yeah, you need you do need to attack them because uh, he lost his shield way faster because he was getting attacked more. And there you go. You can just claim this way faster than you would uh, claim it if uh, uh, if you went and attacked everybody. So on this one just rush, okay? It's pretty easy. Now we have the last mission and we'll be done. There you go. I really don't know how much time it took for the first one because I'm going to uh, cut the, um, I guess, the cutscenes and uh, then I will measure the time and I'll tell you the, uh, I guess, the exact uh, amount of time it took. But till now I just, uh, till, till then I can't really do that because uh, I still haven't started editing that. Uh, so this is when the second skill comes in handy. Uh, this shield is gonna help everybody so as, as many times as you can get the second skill uh, of cooldown just use it. They will probably 80% uh, or 70% of the time will be inside that shield. It's not guaranteed of course but it's better to be uh, or to try and see if we can get it in time. Wow Black Widow just got saved by a hair. I don't know how she was that lucky. Let's start with the second skill as I said. The more you try to keep them uh, on your shield the better. The chances that they will survive these strikes, uh, strikes as well. Whoa! Even I didn't survive that. Holy shit. Uh, let me just retry this completely. What the fuck? The, the first time I actually tried another strategy. Let's try that again this time. So what I did without the uniforms is that after you clear everyone here and you get like two safe spots twice from the airstrikes and the first time after the purple one. So there you go, you clear them again, uh, go back again and then when you go up, you go up with the first character that you're using, so Cap, you get him till the freaking corner then you switch to Black Widow or Iron Man, get him to the corner as well, and hopefully they won't move, uh, and then of course the third one as well, and hopefully they won't move too far away, and they will be safer than they w would be uh, if they just stayed in the middle. Let me just get Cap in here, attack a little bit, get Black Widow to the corner as well, uh, get Iron Man in Oh my god, Iron Man died, but whatever, I have no, uh, just no patient, patience left. Let's just get close to Black Widow. Maybe you could even just try not attacking at all. Black Widow, come here. Uh, maybe you could just try not attacking at all and uh, just going close to the uh, teammates and trying to use the second skill whenever the air strikes would, would start, but whatever, it's your choice. Let's try it with just two of these guys. Probably the damage is gonna be insane anyway. Uh, what the hell, why can't I use the second skill? 
for no reason apparently. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be way better. Uh, I know I don't have uh, Iron Man here, but whatever. Still better than without the uniforms. Thank God. So the second skill is being used, but it's not uh, showing the cooldown time for some reason. So let's just do it, whatever, who cares. So yeah, this would have been probably even faster if I had uh, Iron Man alive, but whatever. We can still do it on our own anyway. Let's use the team up skill, easy peasy. Use the fifth skill, nice as hell. Use the second, the third, and I guess finish it with the fourth maybe. And there you go, skip this, go here, and you can skip the uh, dialogue again. Whoa, never mind, continue. And they will start the dialogue, skip that, and you've finished your story freaking missions. And it took uh, an hour and 15 freaking seconds, uh, or minutes, not seconds, an hour and 15 uh, minutes to clear this with my mistakes and everything. So I got two of the uniforms already. I can reset it after the reset as well, so I get Cap's uniform as well, and then be finished with everything. Let me just check what I, what I got from this chest. And it's another five, four star card, so I really don't mind about that. But anyway, I'll leave you guys to the, to the giveaway part of this video. This was very long. I'm very tired. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yo, Zetters. So we finally have the giveaway winner announcement. I know this took a while, but because of the annoying, annoying huge problem that I had with uh, Streamlabs for the streaming problem, well, I don't know if I can even fix it yet, but let's just do the giveaway with an announcement first. Um, because of that, I couldn't upload this video yesterday, so it had to be today. But anyway, let's uh, just go ahead and uh, use the link here and filter the comments with the keywords shadow, girl, and uh, let's see who's gonna win. We only have 8 commenters who actually got it right, and let's see who wins this time. Uh, the winner is gonna be Joe Cruz, wow, it's been a while for him. Uh, so finished this new story mission 4 times already, definitely became faster after the first clear, but the rewards I get from the chest is still trash. They could have included some gold rewards along with bios every stage clear, but I guess Netmarble thinks that's just too much lol, Shadow Girl. Uh, look, yeah, that's the only thing I agree with, because uh, a lot of people actually also wanted like better rewards. I'm guessing 5 stars are and up or something like that, which I just don't think they will ever do. Uh, this is actually pretty awesome already, but uh, the thing is, like, I, I, I do agree with the gold. Like, it, it should have been just the same amount that we were getting before and uh, that would have been way better but still I actually really like the story mode as well so I'm glad you do PM me on discord and congratulations for winning to everybody else don't worry we'll be having another giveaway tomorrow so I'll see you then okay freaking bye bye guys